I'm in the 80s and early 90s per se that uh, hip hop was used as a voice for uh, poor people that was in the ghetto that didn't have no other way out. You know, um, rich people wasn't opening doors for jobs like uh, you couldn't just walk into a corporate building uh, regardless of your uh, education because it was a lot of racial tension going on at that time and get a job or um, you couldn't just go to any college at that time because of racial tension and as well you you know there was a lot of people that were on drugs in the 80s and the 90s and a lot of people were selling drugs so uh, a lot of people were getting killed going to jail and rap music was a way out for the ghetto people who didn't have nothing they represented they were the voice of the ghetto the people of, from the struggle so it was a way out so when people met each other in the projects or in the hood they you know were going through some shit they would be like man i'm gonna make this album and get up out of the hood i'm gonna get my family up out of the ghetto and that's what they would do they would make that album get up out of the ghetto and then, you know, never forget where they came from. A good example of that is the group NWA, Eazy-E, Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, etc., etc. MC Ren. Now, fast forward to today, music is <laughs> completely different. People make rap music for different reasons, and it's almost like it's pushed by the Illuminati to force gay people to say gay things, uh, nobody writes their lyrics anymore, they push agendas on people, nobody make music to get out of the hood, they just make it, <laughs> to make it, you got rich people making rap music now, so it's not even, you know, really nothing political about it anymore, it's all about a bag. So, we have people like Nas, Little Nas X, who, openly is gay and i hope he don't expect for motherfuckers to respect that he came out the link for this article will be in the description so according to revolt lil Nas x responds to pastor choice homophobic comments now uh, if you guys didn't know this is what happened so lil Nas x went to twitter and said damn i look good in that pic and you know the rest of the word that he used i i for not to say but pastor troy is um <laughs> is a real one put it that way so he saw this um post and pastor troy said i guess i won't be winning a grammy if this what i gotta wear they love to push this shit on our kids the other day applebee's had some punks kissing and laughing eating mozzarella sticks First thing my 14 year old son said was fucking Applebee's and it brought joy to my heart. He sees it, their agenda to take this masculinity from man, black man especially. Some may say he making money, RuPaul do too, but I ain't bumping this CD. Integrity is priceless. Y'all better open that third eye and let your sons know what it is real or they ass gonna be headed down Old Town Road for real. PT. They gonna ride till they can't ride no more. All right, so someone commented and said something that's a quote. I hope everybody really uh, take to their heart. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. That's my two cents. So critics had their way because we live in a lazy, crazy, gay world. Now, um, of course, a little nice. X said, uh, thank you, but the way I dress isn't for everyone. So, some people like it, some don't. I have the most respect for myself. I wouldn't do anything I wasn't comfortable with. And this isn't to diss Lil Nas X, um, because to each your own. If you choose to be gay, that's you. But you got to be prepared for the repercussions that come with being gay. A lot of people ain't with that shit. <laughs> Me, I ain't with that shit. I don't. I can't pat you on the back, bro. I, I'm a true believer in Jesus Christ and what the Bible says. So. And on the other hand, you have people like me, like I just said, so teach your zone. Now, 
we just read that and Twitter had no fucking chill when it came to this shit. So, um, <laughs> Ron No Isley said, artist from Mozzarella Sticks, take a picture and tag him, deliver him some chaos. And Columbus Matter said, he need an Applebee's endorsement, TBH. So, <clears throat> Bobby James made fun of the soup that <laughs> Little Nas X had on. Uh, he compared it to images of uh, the Osley Brothers, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like, meanwhile, in the 70s, black bands were dressing like this. <laughs> so, all right. Then, I Hate Everyone said, they said the same about Liberace, George Michael, Boy George, and Elton John, and now they're icons, legends to those gay or straight. The only thing you're doing, Lil Nas X is giving the black community an opportunity to be themselves, gay or straight. Everyone deserves true freedom. So, everyone had something to say about this on Twitter. <laughs> then Beardless said, this man act like guys dressing this way is a new thing when a whole prince exists. So, <laughs> you gotta look at it this way. For his age, how young he is, it's very, very, very rare for an 18, 19 year old to come out like that and to be pushing it on a new era of kids you know because you want your kids to understand uh the difference between right and wrong and i can understand that point where pastor troy was coming through leave your comments right at the bottom like this video because it does a whole lot for the channel and subscribe later